has it. Rumor, rumor has it. Call out a name or you gossiping or you chatty I patty. I am gossiping. This is the rumor report. I mean, I guess we on The Breakfast Club. This is where the tea spills, right? Yes. Right. Now, Pete Davidson dropped a new Netflix special. It's called Turbo Fonzarelli. And during this special, he talks about being high going to a funeral. And the person's funeral that he went to was the icon Aretha Franklin. It's embarrassing when you're not on ketamine anymore, though. You're like, ooh, ugh. I'm embarrassed. I was out and about like that. That's not cool, you know? You know, I was at funerals like that. That's f***ed up, right? I was at Aretha Franklin's funeral like that. Yeah, I have to live with that, you know what I mean? She'll never know, but still, it's not the point, you know what I mean? If she was there, she would probably be like, hey, who are you and what the f*** are you doing at my funeral? You know, I don't know. It's embarrassing. I was so high, I thought it'd be a good idea to go up to her family and go, hey, I'm just here to pay my R-E-S-P-E-C-T's. <laughs> yes. Now, you're probably thinking like I was. Like, what the hell was he doing at Aretha Franklin's funeral? Yeah, yeah, I feel funeral? like you buried the lead. What, why well, was at the Davis time, he was funeral? engaged to Ariana Grande. And, of course, Ariana Grande had a great relationship with Aretha Franklin. Everybody loved Ariana Grande's voice. Ariana and uh, Aretha had a relationship? Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Ariana can sing, though. That is yeah, a fact. Yeah, she can sing. And the moral of that story, drugs and vagina will have you doing some strange things. Okay? Okay. That's the moral of that story. All right. Well, T.J. Holmes and Amy Roback uh, talk about... Uh, a time that they spent $2,800 on liquor. That's how stressed they were. Was it white liquor? We added up December. Oh my goodness. How much this is money? So embarrassing. <laughs> we spent oh on my alcohol for the month. And we were able to do this by going back and looking at receipts from our account, also looking at Drizzly. Yeah, um, we love Drizzly. How much we ordered that? It's an absurd Everybody? number. Yeah, well, okay. We spent in the month of December $2,869 on alcohol oh alone. Gosh. Period. So, oh my God, I'm so embarrassed. I mean, I don't know what I thought the number would be higher. To be oh honest my with you, God. I'm I'm over thirty drinks a week. Then okay, then that is that is appalling to me. That is embarrassing to me. That is not I mean, what I wish it were. So I can easily go through eighteen drinks a day. I just looked up what Drizzly is. It's an alcohol delivery service. You don't know what Drizzly is? No, never heard of it. I'm old school. I go get, go to the liquor store and get my my, my liquor. Yeah, it's, a, liquor. It's, it's, it's a delivery service, and most people that listen to podcasts, Drizzly sponsors a lot of podcasts. So this portion of the well, podcast is brought to you by Drizzly. Oh, huh? Yeah. That's how it usually is. I've, I've done it a million times. For Do the they sponsor podcast. us though? They sponsor a lot of the stuff on Black Effect. Drizzly? Yeah, uh, that's news to me. Mm-hmm. Don't be making up stuff about my company, bro. <laughs> you just made that up. Well. The Casey Man, Coupon- shut up. Don't be making up. No. I'm like, what? I'm the not, Casey no, Cruz podcast is on iHeart, and I'm sure it's on Black Effect as well. And Casey I Cruz not on Black Effect? Oh, it's on iHeart. Well, we do it on iHeart. Oh, I'm about to like, what are you talking about? Like, I know my sponsors for my company. I'm like, oh. what? Well, no. it was on the Casey Crew podcast. Oh, okay. And that's on iHeart. But I've done it before for well, I, the Casey Crew podcast. What I would like to say is that <sighs> this has been a terrible year for interracial relationships. Oh, boy. <laughs> right? That's Dr. what you got. Dr. Umar couldn't be more proud. I mean, between Jonathan Majors and his Snow Queen, between Jeezy and Jenny Ma and TJ and Amy, inter- interracial relationships seem terrible. Like, where are the positive examples of interracial relationships in mainstream media? Jonathan Majors got misdemeanor charges, Jeezy and Jenny Ma got a divorce, and TJ and Amy were alcoholics. What the hell is happening? I am totally against it. Where is the positive examples of interracial relationships in mainstream media? Look at you. you, you thank you. I'm trying to find you can't one. Think I can't of one. I'm trying to find you one. You can't think of one. Got to be one, Red. You wow. can't think of one, Red. Got to be wow. one. Wow. Give me five seconds. Wow. Five, wow. Four. Wow. Three. You thought the grass two, was green on the other side, and look at you. One. <laughs> It's not one. You can't not one. Come on, it gotta be one. Damn. Somebody help me. Help me, somebody. Help me. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. No, not not one. Mm. Damn. Not one. Well, salute to TJ and Amy. I hope they uh hope they get assistance for that. I hope they get help for that. By the way, if you drizzly and you see somebody ordering that much, at some point do you be like, maybe we need to stop delivering to them? That's just the app. It's like Uber Eats. If you fat, the Uber Eats gonna keep coming to your house. Oh, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't right. stop. Damn, you're right. Damn. Damn, you're right. Cause it's like a bartender, right? Don't at some point the bartender got to stop serving you if they. Yeah, uh, but they're not a bartender. They just. I'm trying to look on the wall to see if there's any interracial relationship. You think that I'd have interracial relationships on the wall? And I'm actually Doctor Whom going on that wall. <laughs> I'm not joking. We doing this wall over here. Y'all think you already seen the design? I know. Over here, I got a big picture of Doctor Umar going up here. Damn. Okay. <laughs> Can't find one. Think of one. All right.
I can't think of one. All right. Oh, man. Now we got a, uh, Kai Sanat. He reacts to Charlemagne uh, shouting him out and giving him some praise on his stream. He shouldn't have been criticizing Kai in the first place. I don't know Kai Who? Sinat. Who? Can of paint. Never met the young man, but I salute that young man. Charlemagne! Everything that he's built. You know why? Because Kai Sanat is everything we say we want hip hop to be. Mm -hmm. Yo, that's a big statement, bro. Elliot did respond immediately after Nikki's tweet about him, but. The way I view it as with the Elliot Post and was, I just think like, right now, today's day and age, people been doing it for so long, right? That it's been the same meta for years, for years, for years. And when there's a new thing that's out, they don't, they can't really grasp and understand it. Streaming is a baby. It's very new to like the music industry and shit like that. Charlamagne, appreciate you, bro. It's DJ and B, watch it, Breakfast Club. Yeah, that's fire, bro. I'm not gonna lie, that, that shit, that shit hard. Shout out to Kai Sinat. Yeah, dropping the clues bombs for Kai Sinat, man. Salute to that young man. I stand on everything I said. He's a very positive young man. He's not online setting himself on fire for views. He's just having a good time in there dancing with his mom and sister, listening to music, critiquing music. It's, it's, it's everything we, we love about hip hop. Yeah, but every but like you said, everything changes. There's evolution. There's the way that we did things and not the way that our elders did it. The way that he's I doing things is not the God. way that we do it. And it's dope what he's doing. He's I, 22 years old. I thank God. That and he's doing well. I extremely God, well. I thank God that young man isn't doing anything that we, did. That we were doing. You're right. <laughs> okay? you, that, and that's we, what I'm saying. Am, you're absolutely We, we are here to teach people right. early what we learn late. Correct. Okay, so salute to Kai Sinat. That's right. All right, and that is your rumor report. Jennifer Lopez, Ben Affleck, interracial relationship. Latino, white. What that mean? That's one. We gotta That's see how the that, wall. We gotta see how that turns out. That's dirt, dirt, dirt. I really, I'm really talking about black men. The people in the middle dirt. No, 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 no. Get off, forget all. I, what I'm specifically talking about black is black men who choose partners that aren't black women. That's mm -hmm. what I'm specifically talking about. Because you know that I believe in black love. I believe black men should be with black women and have beautiful black families. That is just my personal opinion. Okay, if you don't like it. At Dr. Umar Johnson, okay? <laughs> D-R-U-M-A-R-J-O-H-N-S-O-N. Take it up with him, okay? I'm not going back and forth with you about it, all right? But Dr. Umar will. All right. Just trying to look at our wall to see. No, not Kendrick, not J. Cole, not Hov, not Ray J. Cole's the product of a one, but no. Con no, I don't want to mention Kanye, no. Kanye, definitely. <laughs> Kanye definitely love him a snow bunny. All right, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> he buy him by the dozen. They all look alike, too. <laughs> he missed one, the next one coming, and it looked just like the first one that left. Yeah, you're right. All right, well, that is your rumor report. Who are you giving your donkey to? Listen, for after the hour, man, this is the first donkey of the, uh, no, this is the first donkey of the year from Florida. His name is Kurt Beck, and we're going to have a conversation with you about you know what? We'll talk about it when we come back for after the hour. It only took five days. We just only been here five days, but all right. that's that's a long time for Florida. All right, it's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.